Okay, this is now the five minute tarot for the 29th of March 2017. And this one is called Who to Blame When Things Go Wrong. Because when things go things go wrong and it's easy to blame other people or to blame conditions or to blame the world or some power in the world. But the short answer is, who do you blame when things go wrong? You blame yourself. Because if you blame yourself, then you have the chance to turn it around into things going right instead of wrong. So I'd like to take a few minutes and just discuss this, this general idea. So when things go wrong or if things aren't going the way we want, it's easy to think it's somebody else's fault or that they did it to us, right? Or they being, you know, people out there. So they did it, they did it to us and maybe that's actually true. Um, but, and, and, and so you weren't able to do what you wanted to do because you were up against much stronger opposition. And if we go back, if we relate this to the tarot, then a bad card, for instance, it can, it can represent something that defeats the questioner or that defeats you and that you can't really do that much to change. However, I, th I think and I'd like to say that this, the solution to everything, so the solution to every problem is to blame yourself. And so when things go badly, it was your, if you can say, okay, it was my fault. Um, for, even, even if at the same time you think it isn't, thinking that it, it isn't your fault, it, it, there's no win for you that way. But if you think it is your fault, then there's something you can do about it. And you can change it so that if it happens again, it's not going to turn out as badly or it's not going to turn out the bad way. If you think it's your own fault, and I'm saying own because own can mean to, to own something. So if you think, OK, it was my own fault, I'm going to own the fault, I'm going to take possession of the fault. So if you take the position that somebody did it to you, whatever it was, then you're giving away control of the situation. And so because you're thinking they did it to me, you're giving away control, you're establishing personal weakness that you're operating from. Well, I couldn't do anything about it. It was, it was they did it to me. You're saying, what you're saying is, um, uh, I wasn't able to do anything about it. And you're setting up personal weakness. So you're always going to be weak while you think along those lines of why you accept that. Or maybe you say, okay, I'm going to be stronger next time. Um, but there's always going to be somebody who's stronger than you. So being stronger isn't really a solution. It may work well enough for a while, but it's not the, the long-term solution. Because when you, when you blame other people and assume that outer, outer conditions did it to you, you're saying, I can't, or I am unable. I'm not able to do whatever it is that I wanted to do. But the good thing is if you blame yourself, you can say, OK, I should have known better, so I'll do it differently next time. Then you're back in control. Or you could say, I could have known better. So I should pay more attention to what's going on and not close my eyes to what I don't want to see or what I don't want to deal with. Or maybe blaming yourself means you say to yourself, I'll do it better next time, or I'll do it differently next time, and I'll keep doing it differently and until I find the right way. That gives you, that, that, that's you operating, even if you're still losing, you're operating from a position of strength. And in the long run, it turns out right. So you may not be able to control the situation next time, but you can control your reaction and it's controlling your reaction that's the important point. Because controlling your reaction makes a change in or within the cause. And if you remember cause and effect, if you, you, there's, no point, there's not much point in dealing with the effect. You change the cause and you automatically produce a change in the effect. So if the effect is that you're not getting what you want, go back to the cause, make a change there and you're going to produce a different effect. And if you take this position like all day, every day, paying attention to what's going on, then um, quite soon you've, you've got a different reality, a different set of circumstances and conditions that you're dealing with and that you're in. 
And so your position becomes more desirable every day and you become more powerful every day. So I was this morning I was thinking about trees. So if you think about how a, a tree and how it grows, um, it needs water. But when it rains, the tree doesn't make use of the water that falls in its leaves. Or it doesn't make use of what is happening on the outside. Right, so supply, the word supply means to draw up from, be, to, to draw from below upwards and within. So you think of the roots of a tree. You know, it, it doesn't make use of the water that falls onto the leaves, but the water falls into the ground is, is, and is absorbed. And the, the, the roots which are already down and already within, so to speak, that, that's how the water gets to the tree and feeds the tree or helps it to grow. So the growth doesn't take place directly from the outside. So if you if we translate that into people, we too can grow. I mean, physically we grow, but also we can grow in understanding and confidence and ability and so on. But that, that type of growth doesn't happen from, it's, it's not from what happens on the outside. Yes, we can have good teachers that teach us stuff, but in the end it's because we, like the roots in the tree, we draw from within and we draw upward. Um, that's how growth takes place. So it's not about conditions. So there's not much point in blaming them or blaming outer conditions. It's not so much about growth doesn't come from, from outer conditions, um, but from our reactions. So you, how do you do this? You can just decide that you're going to learn. You're going to experiment with solutions, going to try different things. Um, you're going to gain experience, which can mean that you become involved in situations that you've never done before, that you're not comfortable with, but um, you're going to become experienced so you know better what's going on or how to deal with it or the best way to deal with the situation. You're going to explore all right, and, and look around and see what's possible, what's available. So experiment, EX. Experience, EX, and explore, EX, all begin with X. And X may, is a prefix that means from or out of. So if you're going to explore and experiment and experience, the first motion is to, so you, you start from, start with you and what's inside you and what's within you and you go out from you. And this means, and this is my last point, it's important to think about what I am means. Okay, that was something about, I forget what the starting, oh yeah, blaming other people and not blame, the, the, the non-return from blaming other people. And this is, I probably will refer back to this now and again, because it's not complete, but um, that's all for the moment. But I say, um, uh, I'll probably come back to it in a while or off and on. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Okay, bye-bye.